Hey guys, Monster here. Definitely had a lot of stuff going on in my life that just prevented me from getting around to making YouTube videos. There's definitely some EDC changes. That's why I figured, you know what, it's been getting a little bit different. So I figured I'd throw it in, see what's up. Uh, there's definitely some cool changes. Definitely a couple sad ones. Like, just starting off, one of the sad ones is I lost my Olight. I can't find it. I don't know what happened to it. It's gone. I can't find it anymore. I will be replacing it. The Olay i5T EOS in OD Green. I can't find it, so until then, I picked this up at Walmart. It's just a cheap coast. I don't know. I don't know. It's not a coast. It's a hyper tough. It was like 12 bucks. It's okay as a flashlight. I definitely don't want to keep it long term, but for right now, until I order the Olay, it'll do. Um, wallet. Still rocking the Chum's wallet. I really haven't found anything that beats it, so. There's that. Uh, knives. I'm still rocking the Benchmade Osborne in green. Or, I actually found this. I really like my Tenacious in green, but for whatever reason, they don't make the Tenacious in green anymore. But they make the Tenacious Lightweight in green. And I got that off eBay for like 50 bucks. And so I've been mainly rocking the Tenacious. But I've also been rocking the Benchmade here and there. But I'm definitely liking the cheapness of the Tenacious. No, I have not switched the pocket clip around. I just haven't really gotten around to it. So there's that. I'm going to put that back in my pocket because that's what I was carrying. Put this away. Get this out of the way. Gun-wise, I'm still rocking my 45 shield. I really haven't found anything that's replaced it. It's just, it just is what it is. I'm rocking the 8-round uh, mags in it, 7 plus 1, or 7-round uh, mags, excuse me, with the Federal HSTs. That's what I've been rocking. Also rocking with that, the... Pitbull Tactical Holster, the multi-holster with the spare 7-round mag. I like it. I think it's pretty cool. Also, I got a new firearm that I've really, really been liking before. That's stick with knives. With the colder weather, I wear a lot of hoodies throughout the year, actually. Um, I usually wear, like, a lightweight t-shirt tucked in uh, my firearm and then a hoodie over top or a button-down during the summertime. I really like my button-downs pair of shorts jeans whatever so i have the ability to conceal a little bit more because i have that outer shirt that's a little bit baggier because i'm a little bit huskier of a guy a little bit broad shouldered so i can kind of get away with it i found this at walmart and i like it a lot it's a good hunting knife good fishing knife i'm outdoors a lot so it kind of serves a lot of purposes and that is the buck 19 i've been wearing it on my left side uh the holster is less than desirable it's you know kind of falling apart already but the knife is phenomenal i've gutted some things with it and done some things with it and it just it's not wearing very much and it's holding up pretty well i don't know if it's a full tang knife but i think it's a rat tail but i've been liking a lot it's a big knife it's intimidating that's not why i carry it i just think it's a badass knife um i carry it for the purposes of again i go hunting a lot and fishing a lot so it's a pretty cool all-around outdoors knife i don't carry it every single day but around the house and stuff i usually do or if i go out but if i'm just throwing like pair of cargo shorts on, running out of the gas station, getting gas, whatever. I usually won't throw it on uh, with a firearm, but most days I carry it, but not all days. The new firearm I got, see that these are. You guys know, if you go back to my channel, I carried a J-frame for a while. And I kind of got a J-frame again, but I got one in 357. I ended up picking up a Ruger SP-101 357 Magnum. It is hot. I am rocking, sorry, it's hard to do behind the camera, Winchester. I don't know exactly what these are, 357. These are those really cool silver-tipped rounds, hollow points. And the reason I'm rocking these is because I got these for free off a sergeant of mine. And they're pretty cool rounds. i get it back in there. But my reloads eh, are soft points. Yeah, I know, they're not very desirable for self-defense, but they're better than full metal jackets, and I can't find any hollow points. With the current pandemic right now, I've never really bought in 357. I have a decent amount of 38. And I actually, for whatever reason, you guys know on my channel, I like recoil. I don't find this gun that hard to shoot. A lot of people say these lightweight 357s are like super painful and very uncomfortable. I put 50 rounds through it of this stuff because I ended up getting two boxes of it. I put 50 rounds through it in one day. And my hand was pretty beat up. I'm not going to say like I'm Superman or anything, but... It definitely hurt. It definitely was sore, but it wasn't, like, to the point where I'm uncomfortable carrying the gun or whatever. Because a lot of people with these kind of guns are like, well, just run three 
38s through it, and then 357s just to get used to it, and then never fire it again. I didn't find it that uncomfortable to shoot. It definitely, again, it wasn't the most pleasant thing, but it's, you know, I actually kind of enjoyed shooting the 357 because I like the recoil of it. I like the impulse of recoil. I just, it's something I've always enjoyed. Again, I'm not Superman. I'm not trying to hype myself up as Superman or anything like that. It's just, I don't mind the recoil, so I figured, you know what, screw it. I'm going to get a lightweight 357. This thing really attracted me because I actually went to a gun shop to buy a different revolver that I've had my eye on ever since it came out. It came out in 2020, and that's this. I've never owned a single-action revolver, and I've heard some great things about the Heritage Rough Riders, and they came out with the barkeep, and the 2-inch barrel really intrigued me. So I actually picked this up, this and a box of 50 rounds, which I have thousands of rounds of 22, but I picked this up. And the 50-round box of 22 for $168 out the door after taxes. So I was like, how could I not get this? This thing is cool. I would never carry this. I mean, I might put the, I might get the aftermarket, not the aftermarket, but the um, additional cylinder and 22 mag for it. Because I think this is going to be a screaming badass little gun in 22 mag. And I wouldn't mind throwing it in my hunting bag. The 22 mag is like a dispatch gun going out hunting. It would not be a bad idea for that. So anyway, I went there to buy the Heritage Barkeep. And this was sitting there, and I went home, and I just kept thinking about it. Like, man, that Ruger, man, that Ruger, man, that Ruger. Problems ammo. I don't have any ammo. I don't have any 357. But then a gun shop posted on Facebook, a different local gun shop, saying that I had those soft points. So I was like, you know, I went and picked up two boxes. And I went back. They still had it, so I figured it was fate. And I ended up getting it, and I absolutely love it. It is not my primary carry gun. It is, as you guys know, I carry a bag gun for when I go into work. I can't carry a firearm into work with me. So I leave it in my vehicle parked off uh, county property and say if I have to go to Walmart or somewhere after work I can I have a gun I have a firearm so and it's actually the exact same firearm my one sergeant carries but it's a Taurus and we actually compare them side by side the frames are identical it's just the only difference I probably there's a quality difference but the only difference is the grips were different and literally the markings other than that it's an identical pistol so I thought that was pretty cool. So now me and him kind of like matching twins. But I like it, guys. I think it's cool. I think it's a cool option if you're looking for a badass gun that the recoil is not super horrible. If you can handle like really, 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 and I mean really snappy. I'm talking about really, really snappy. After I shoot two rounds through it, you know, just to be safe, I'm going to unload it. And I'm not going to pull the trigger or anything. But after two rounds, your, your hand's like this two rounds of boom boom your hands like this it's it's if you can handle really 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 and i mean really snappy recoil it's cool it's it's a fun gun to shoot it's definitely capable with them 357 rounds there's a noticeable difference completely noticeable difference between that and th uh, the 30 i've never fired a 357 prior to this gun and i was kind of like screw it let's do it so it's it's cool as hell it really is if you're looking for a lightweight 357 and it's lightweight it's only five shot that's the only downside i wish it was a six but the SP1, the ones are known for their reliability and things. And I'm going to keep it like that. I'm not changing anything out on it. I know you can change the front sight and the grip, so I'm going to leave it the way it is. But, oh, uh, Galco holster. I don't like this holster. I don't like the clip because of my duty belt. Um, it's a really thin, the inner belt's really thin and really, like, flexible. So this just doesn't go well on and off. I'm going to end up getting, like, a pancake holster or whatever. But it's a cool Galco holster. It was 40 bucks when I bought the gun. Again, rocking, you know, uh, 357 soft points. So that's 15 rounds of 357. If I can't get it done with, you know, that, I must should, really must have hit the fan. So other than that, guys, I mean, I hope you enjoyed my EDC update. Oh, my keys are the same. I ended up changing my key. I got this little Baby Yoda Grogu key thing because I'm a nerd. I really like this, too. I threw this on here, and I absolutely love it. I use it for everything. Soda cans, beer cans, whatever. I use it for everything. And it was like 6 bucks on Amazon, if not less. The Night Eyes do hickey. I would definitely grab one. Cool as shit. Other than that, guys, that's it. Um... Yep, that's it. Other than that, guys, you know, as I always say, stay safe, stay bladed, stay pewed, and again, guys, most importantly, just stay free.